Do you want surround sound all the time? If so, follow these simple steps. If you do not want surround sound all the time, you can watch our video on how to set up a home theater system using the TV as the main control. You can view this video at eSupport.Sony.com. This video will show you how to set up a home theater system. We are using the receiver as the brain of our system, and we'll also hook up a Blu-ray disc player and a PlayStation 3 to our receiver while running all of these to a Sony TV. We will also cover speaker placement and setup, as well as some steps to ensure that you are getting sound from each speaker. Before we get started, you'll need a receiver, a TV, speakers, speaker wires, a pen, some paper, and either HDMI, digital optical audio cable, composite or component cables for each of the products you are going to be setting up in your home theater. We are going to start by hooking up our components. Since we are using the receiver as the brain of the system, we will always have the receiver turned on when watching TV, Blu-ray movies, or playing PlayStation. Blu-ray players and PlayStation will each need an HDMI cable. The TV will actually have two cables, one HDMI to send the picture from the receiver to the TV, and a digital optical cable to send the sound from the TV to the receiver. So let's get started with our hookup. Make sure that all of your products are turned off. Next, plug the Blu-ray disc player into the receiver. On the back of the Blu-ray disc player, connect one end of the HDMI cable to the output and the other end of the HDMI cable to the input on the receiver. We are going to use the BD DVD input. Now we are going to take the signal out of the PlayStation and into the receiver. We are going to use game as the input. As you plug your products in, you should make a note of where you are plugging them into. You will need this information later. Now, let's connect the TV. First, take an HDMI cable and connect one end of the HDMI cable out of the receiver while connecting the other end to the TV HDMI input. You will also need that digital audio optical cable now. Use this cable to connect the TV to the receiver. Take one end of the digital optical audio cable and connect it to the TV's output. Connect the other end to the receiver's input. Now that all of our components are connected, let's hook up the speaker. Each speaker has a red and a black side. Make sure when you are connecting the speakers that you match up the wires to the proper side. If you have spring clips, press the clip down, insert the wire into their corresponding slot. For example, if the gray wire with the black stripe is connected to the black on the back of the speaker, then make sure to connect the other end of that wire to the black on the back of the receiver. Power on your components. Turn the input selection dial on the receiver to one of the inputs you have connected. If the receiver is on and the TV is receiving a signal, you should see the TV screen change and indicate which input the receiver is on. If you do not see the screen change after a few seconds, check your connections and try again. Next, we need to test the speakers, so we will go into the speaker testing menu. Press the up or down arrow buttons until speaker is selected and then press the center button. Use the up or down arrow buttons to highlight SP pattern Press the center button. Here you will need to tell the receiver which way you have set up your speakers. Press the up or down arrow buttons until you see an image that is similar to your speaker configuration. Once you have selected your configuration, press the center button. Now, back in the speaker setting menu, press the up or down arrow buttons until you highlight test tones and press the center button. Press the up arrow button to activate test tones. 
As the test cycles through the speakers, you should hear sound coming from the speaker that is highlighted on the screen. If no sound is heard, check your speaker connection and your volume and try the test again. Do not turn your volume up high during the test as sudden high noise may damage your speakers and ensure that it is not on mute. A moderate volume is sufficient. By pressing the up and down arrow buttons in this menu, you can choose to test speakers individually, which is helpful if you are not receiving sound and need to adjust that speaker's connection. Once you are able to hear sound from all of your speakers, press the menu button to go back to the main menu, and then press the menu button to exit. Now we will test the devices. For the Sony Blu-ray displayer, press the input button you wrote down earlier on the receiver remote. You should now see the Blu-ray displayer menu on the TV screen. If you do not see a picture, check your connection and make sure that your TV and your receiver are both on the correct inputs. Once you receive the signal on the TV, play some content to make sure that you are receiving the device's audio through the receiver's speakers. You can do this by simply playing a DVD. If you are unable to receive sound, press the sound field plus or minus buttons on the receiver remote until you are able to hear sound. I hope you've enjoyed this video. For more tips, tricks, and how-to videos, please visit us at esupport.sony.com or on our Sony Listens YouTube channel. Thank you.